Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I have brought to you Sacred Beasts. Sacred Beasts are a very, very fun deck. Um, I tried them last night um, for locals. Um, it did really well, it won me two out of my three rounds. I don't know how. Um, this build isn't the exact build I was using, but after the tournament I um, changed it up a little bit and just see what I can do, and this deck just ran a, li like, a little bit better. So... It could have won me the third round if I used this build as well. But, let's jump straight into it. So for the main deck, we're just running each of the th one of each Sacred Beasts, because we're running Armatile, as you saw from the extra deck. And we're also wanting one Shimmering Scraper. Um, so the reason why you one run of e one of each, because you want to summon this out, you want to summon this out. This is like, if you draw into it with a Fusion Spell, you just make Armatile, or the... Um, or Trilogic, if you just need to burn your opponent for a little bit of damage. That's about it. Um, I wanted to get these up for two, at least. Or at least just one of them, because if if they um, come off the field, you have no way of getting them back. Because you can't Monster Reborn them, I believe, because you haven't summoned them through their proper summoning mechanics. So, if they come off the field, you have to rely on using them to Armor Tile, which can then be Effect Veiled and, and stopped. So, it's... This deck's kind of fragile, but if I can find a way to fit in two more of these, then I think the deck should be good. I am debating whether I should take out a Law of Darkness or not. Um, let's put in one, one, and one more for a Law of Darkness. So if you guys want to do that, that is absolutely fine. Next for our normal summons, uh, we've got dark be three Dark Beckoning Beast, three Chaos Summoning Beast, and two Dark Summoning Beast. Uh, Beckoning is your Searcher, so it can search out your Continuous Spell that searches out any other one. So, like, the, co the things you're going to want in hand are Beckoning and Dark Summoning, or Beckoning and Chaos, or Beckoning and the Continuous Spell, um, which can get you to your two Sacred Beast boards, and maybe a set Awakening as well. So that's quite nice. Um, it's just a little combo in the deck to get you to... Basically, a Mystic Mine, um, which is really nice. It's just it doesn't have the drawback of needing to control less monsters. And next, I'm only running two Dangers. I'm running one Nessie and one Jackalope. I don't have a Susinoko yet, um, but if I was to run Susinoko, I might take out. Um, I might take out one Cerulean Skyfire. But again, I don't agree with one Cerulean Skyfire because it's your Harmon Negate. So if you don't have that, it's kind of a iffy situation. Especially if your opponent's going to try and um, evenly match or um, Dark Hall No More You or something like that. So yeah, there's just two simple dangers that I run. If I do get a Susie No Car, I might run it. And next, the big boy, Darkest Diabolist, Lord of the Lair. Um... Obviously, with the effects of Chaos Summoning Beast and Dark Summoning Beast, they tribute themselves to activate their effect. Raviel can tribute to um, gain attack. A Beckoning Beast, you can tribute summon out um, Dark Summoning, because um, you get a second normal summon. So this is going to summon, summon itself up from the hand or the grave um, during the turn you do that. So if you like, say you tribute Chaos Summoning Beast to summon from the hand, and this is in the grave, you just go, right, now I've got another free body on the board. And then that can also help you rip cards out of your opponent's hand, which is very nice. And next, for the hand traps, I'm running six, because every deck's got to run hand traps at this point. Just three Effect Veiler, and three Ash Blossom. Uh, just generic stuff that is just... You can run stuff like Nibiru and stuff, but I, I only have three copies of each of those, so those ones have to fall, fall on. Now for the Sacred Beast stuff, we have two Fallen Paradise for the field spell. That, are you only wanting two? Because um, you're not really going to want Terraforming, because um, Chaos Summoning is all you really need to search it out, because it banishes from the grave to, su to search it out. Um, three Opening of the Spirit Gates, two Cerulean Skyfire. And one dimension fusion destruction. Um, opening spirit gates like adds your. It adds another sacred beast or sacred beast related card 
Cerulean Skyfire, you can switch a Hom on to defense to negate a um, spell trap. And because it's continuous effect, it can even negate spell speed 4, which is fucking amazing. Um, also, opening spirit gates can add back and continue a spell if it's on the field, and it can discard one monster to. Um, it can discard one card to summon out a um, zero zero fiend from the graveyard, and then dimension fusion destruction, um, banish all the materials for a level for a phantasm. So like trilogy of armatile, and then you get your, and then you get your fusion. Um, and if you control a Uriah, Hamon, or Raviel, you get your um, spell speed four. Which is very nice. And next, just for draw power, we've got three Allure of Darkness and one Upstart Goblin. Um, obviously, Allure of Darkness, you're playing a lot of darks in this, in this deck. You've got Raviel, you've got Shimmering Scraper, you've got Beckoning, Chaos, you've got Beckoning, Chaos Summoning, and Dark Summoning. So, they're just really good cards to play. And Upstart Goblin, obviously, it's just a draw one. Because this deck beats down quickly, so it doesn't really matter about your opponent gaining life. One Foolish Barrel for the Darkest Diablos, because you're going to want to have it engraved if you want to summon it out. And then three Cool Weather Graves. Um, either to stop hand traps, or if you're going second. I don't know what you can be used for a second, but if if you don't get hand traps, then you can just set these. And if your opponent's playing Graveyard Reliant, we just Cool Weather Graves their stuff. And then for the three traps, the good one. Awakening the Sacred Beasts, because if you control one Sacred Beast, you just keep gaining life um, for every time they summon. Um, two negate uh, two, and you negate the activated effects of monsters your opponent controls. So it's not a mystic line, it's just like on the field, activated effects can't um, be used. Which is alright, but... And then any number of... Um, and then three, any monster sent to your opponent's graveyard is banished instead. So it's a dark fall as well. And then we have the extra deck quickly, which is... For my fusions, we have three armor tile, two trilogic, an earth golem, another soul, and a starving venom. I do I do run super poly in the side deck, so that's why I'm running the super the super poly targets. Um, but these other I don't know why I'm running three armor tile with only one fusion spell, but it's just because I like the artwork. And plus, there's a couple decks in my local meta where they banish it from the extra deck, so might as well just keep three in there. We've got one Armourage for the... One Pentestag, one Nightmare Phoenix, one Nightmare Unicorn for the Lynx. And I believe that's just all you need. Because Unicorn and Phoenix are removal. Pentestag just helps um, kill your opponent, especially if they set up a board of um, defense position monsters and you Shimmering Scraper your Raviel. You just keep attacking their defense position monsters with... Um, Pentestag pointing to powered up Reviel. Then for your rank 10s, we've just got one Gustav Max and one Super Dora. I don't have the Ibli or whatever it's called. I can't remember what, um, not the, the expensive ones. But these just helped. Um, this especially in time. Because um, I after the locals, I played like a 40 minute round with someone. And um, I won because of this in time. So that was actually quite funny. And then we just got like a Nibiru token, three Phantasm tokens, because you're going to need them for um, Raviel. Alright, now I'll showcase a little combo. Um, so you can either activate Opening or Beckoning, so just just normal summon Beckoning. Uh, beckoning is going to search you for your Dark Summoning Beast. Uh, then you can get Dark Summoning Beast effect. Uh, effect if you want or you can activate opening and opening can search you chaos summoning now if you have Hamon or Ravio in your hand you can discard this to summon this out and then you can normal summon this so you get this effect um, to summon from deck banish it and stuff like that we're just going to go for the normal combo uh, that I used to use so or that I use so it's tribute summon dark summoning beast get its effect uh, summon out I'm on from the deck. Banish Dark Summoning Beast. Add Raviel. There we go. And then opening Spirit Gates. You can discard your Chaos Summoning Beast. Um, and because 
this doesn't target before it discards, so um, you can discard this for its effects, and then you can immediately summon Chaos Summoning back. We can tribute to summon out all the Phantasms, then you can banish to add to your hand Fallen Paradise. And then I'm just shuffle up quickly because we're going to draw two cards of Fallen Paradise because while you control any of the Sacred Beasts, you should, we just draw two cards. And we've drawn Dark Beckoning and Effect Veiler. So that's just the little combo that you can do with the deck just to make two Sacred Beasts. And let's say you had Awakening. So these would be the other three in my hand. So I've been able to summon out Darkest Diablos as well. I would have an Allure of Darkness and I would also have a set Awakening of the Sacred Beast as well. So yeah, that's basically the combo. Um I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed the video. Um if you'd like to test out this deck, it's actually quite cheap. Um it's just three copies of the structure deck. Uh you should need to pack up, pick up your hand traps and your call by the grave, which I don't believe in much. Uh Diablos isn't that much either. Um And in all fairness, all you need from the extra deck are just these. You don't need to poly or anything. Because um, you don't really go into your extra deck much, except for Al Mirage, maybe. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this deck um, profile. And I'll see you all next time.